Hello there and welcome to our quick look at Orchestry, your tool for Microsoft Teams that makes adoption, governance and usage of the platform a breeze. Today, we're going to specifically look at requesting a team in Microsoft Teams. So let's get started. From the Workspace dashboard, we can see multiple templates available for end users to select from. You'll notice that some of these templates are Microsoft Teams, SharePoint Team Sites and SharePoint Communication Sites. You may also notice some grey icons underneath each template. These grey icons are called features and hovering over them reveals what feature is included with the team. For example, in this template, a group calendar is added to the SharePoint site, allowing you to manage meetings in Outlook and make them available on your homepage. First, we'll take a look at the Project Workspace template. I'll click on the Project Workspaces template and then on the Activated Continue button in the top right of the screen. I can see that this template comes with some pre-selected features and document templates, which is really handy if I'm creating a project and I want to make sure that I'm using the correct tools for the job. But for this piece of work, I need a customizable team template, so I click on Go to Previous Step to go back. I'm going to choose a team as my starting point, so I'll click on Team and then on Continue as I did before. This workspace template has no pre-selected features, so I can start building the team how I want it to be. I'll click on Add Feature to bring up the Features window. Now I need to add some features that I'd like to my SharePoint site that is associated with this team. So I'll select the calendar to get more information and then on the plus icon to add it to the template. I'll continue to do this for some of the features I think would be useful. Once done, I click on Add Features in the bottom right and I can see that I will add three features to my site. Heading back to the customize screen, I now want to make sure that I include some templates for my team to use when creating documents in channels or document libraries. So I'll click on Add Template under the Document Templates subheading. I can browse through the available templates to add them to my team. And what's really nice is that the types of templates are grouped by their function. As this is a marketing team, I select the documents under the marketing heading. Once happy with my selection, I'll click on add templates and can clearly see that I'm adding two templates to my team. I'm happy with my selection, so I'll click on continue to move to the next step. I'm required to give my workspace a name, so I'll type in a name I think would work well for my team. Typing Orchestry notifies me that a team with this name already exists, so I may wish to either use that team if I've forgotten it was created, or I could choose a different one. I am going to choose a different name as I do need a new team for this activity. At this point, I can also add a new team logo, description, and add metadata to the team, which will help me find it easier using the Orchestry directory. Once I'm happy with my selections, I'll click on Continue to progress through the Workspace Builder. I now need to add channels to my team. I've been provided with some suggested channels, so I'll pick a few that are relevant to me for this piece of work. I'm also going to need to add a channel that isn't on this list, so I'll type the channel name and click Add Channel to add it to the template. Great, all of my channels are added, so let's move on. Again, I'm going to click Continue. Wow, this is super easy. I wish every company I worked at had this tool. Okay, so lastly, I now need to add some owners and members. The company policy requires me to have at least two owners to stop orphan teams and at least three members. Otherwise, we should use chat and OneDrive for business. First, I'll click on Add Owners. The Add Owners dialog pops up. From here, I'm going to search for Daniel from the People Finder and click on the Add button. Great, I can see that Daniel is now added as a team owner. I'll click on the small X to close this window. I'll take the same approach for the members as I did for the owners and all of the requirements of membership have now been met. But I still need to select whether or not this team is private or public. Luckily, there is a clear explanation of what a private or public team is and I know I need this team to be private. So I select it from the options and once done, I can now click on continue to progress. This overview page allows me to confirm all of the choices I've made in preparing this team. I can see the team name, features, templates, channels, and membership. All looks good to me, so let's go ahead and get this approved. Nice, my team has now been sent for approval. I'll head back to the directory screen now to look at other teams I have access to. Ah, okay, I can see that against the notification icon, I have an alert, so let's click on that to see what it is. I can see that my request is waiting for approval. I'll continue with my work and wait for the notification that my team has been created. 
As an end user, this approach to creating the right workspace with the right tools has been so easy and I feel confident my team will be a success. A few moments later, I can see that my request has been approved and Orchestry is creating my team for me. This is brilliant as I have clear visibility as to what's going on with my request and I haven't had to call the service desk once. Oh, what's this? I have received a notification in Teams. Okay, so let's check it out. Fantastic, Orchestry has created my new team for me, even added a nice tab called Team Information. So let's take a look. Now, this is seriously helpful. Orchestry comes with a dashboard showing me all the information about my team in such a nice way. I have some quick actions to email the group or head to the SharePoint site. I can even see who the owners and members are and send them a quick chat message, email or meeting request all from this dashboard. There's more. This is brilliant. I can quickly get up and running with the official press release and marketing fact sheet templates straight away. My team are going to love this. Thanks, Orchestry.